Hey, this is Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to give you the actual pricing for $20,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 71-year-old male. Now, first thing you need to understand is uh, you can use our quota on our website. We've got these on just about every page. You just click the state that you live in, and we're licensed in all 50 states. You click the coverage amount you want, uh, enter your birthday, the other information, click Get Quotes Now. It'll take you to a page and it's going to show you all the best insurance companies at all the lowest rates, and you can be an educated shopper. You can also just call our toll-free number, 888-869-456, and one of our agents can help you out with this. Now, the first thing you need to understand as a 71-year-old male is, you know, is, is, is $20,000 going to be enough to take care of your final expense needs, whatever that is, and typically that would be cremation or burial. So if you're looking at getting cremated, the average cost of a cremation right now in the United States is between one to $2,000. And the average cost of a cremation where there's a ceremony, a celebration of life or something, a remembrance ceremony, that's probably going to be between thirty-five dollars to $4,500. So if you got a $20,000 policy right now, yeah, you're in good shape. You can stop watching the video. If not, keep, keep watching here. So what we would typically recommend, and we don't recommend you know, people over insuring. So a lot of times people would say, well, I want to get $20,000. I want to leave some money for my kids. What well, age 71, it just, it kind of gets expensive because you waited too long. So we don't recommend really doing that. We really recommend this insurance, get just what you need for your most immediate needs and, um, you know, save that money that you'd buy on extra insurance to give to the kids and actually spend it on the kids and family members when they're alive versus waiting till you're dead. That just seems like a better way. That way you'll have the memories and so will, so will your family. Now, if you're going to be buried, the average cost of a burial in the United States right now is right around $10,000. So if uh, you got a $20,000 policy, you're, you're in good shape. If you don't, uh, kind of, you should probably look at starting at at least $10,000. Now, I can guarantee you one thing. That's not going to be a fancy funeral for $10,000, but we can't imagine there's many funeral homes in the United States that if you walked in with a $10,000 check, they wouldn't take that versus just, you know, you walking down the road and giving it to their competitors. But understand, $10,000 is going to be a very simple, meager uh, funeral service for a, for a burial. So we would typically recommend getting a little more coverage than that, especially since you're 71 and hopefully you want to make it to age 81. And we know that the prices are going to go up in the next 10 years. So... We would typically recommend somewhere between maybe ten, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars. Depends on your bu budget. But remember, if you can't afford twenty thousand or fifteen thousand, get ten thousand right now. That takes care of the most immediate needs, and you can always add more coverage later. We can certainly help you out with that. Now, one thing we always recommend is getting first aid coverage or benefits. That's really important because none of us knows when we're going to die. If that's going to be, you know, twenty minutes from now or twenty years from now. So first aid coverage means that hypothetically, if your policy was approved today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would pay the full death benefit, which is really important. You do not want a policy that's got a two-year waiting period. We don't recommend those at all. And uh, we'll get into that in a moment here too, as well, too. But uh, some people would say, you know, I really want the first aid coverage, but I hear they ask health questions and I'm not in very good health, to which we would say, hey, uh, your health is our problem, um, not yours. And what we mean by that is we work with a bunch of different insurance companies. They've all got different underwriting requirements. And uh, we, we, we just work with enough different ones that 90, 95% of the time, we're able to get people first day coverage or benefits. And again, uh, the only reason you wouldn't qualify for first day coverage or benefits would be if you had like really significant health issues, like you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months or you had dementia or you were on dialysis or you were in a hospital or in a, or in a nursing home. If that were the case, we'd probably recommend you out to refer you out to a different company. The other thing that seems to happen every week is we get somebody that calls us up and says, hey, you know, we had a family member pass away this last week. They didn't have any insurance. We don't have any money. Their body's down at the funeral home. The funeral director's not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick so that we can get a check in our hand so we can get a check in the funeral director's hand. And we have to tell these people that there's no life insurance company in the United States that's going to issue a policy on somebody that's died. It does not work out that way. And it's really awful that somebody passed away. They knew they were going to die at some point. 
They kind of played the odds, didn't take care of this. They lost. And now their family loses, both financially and emotionally. Financially, because they can't come up with the money, and they're going to be forced to get creative if they can even do it. And then emotionally, because it's just so much stress and drama when there's a body down at the funeral home and uh, there's no money to get anything done. So what a terrible thing. What a terrible thing to do in a terrible situation to put your family in. Just get this insurance. It's affordable. If you can't afford everything you want, just get what you can afford because it's going to help your family. Now, one thing we do recommend is avoiding the two-year waiting period plans. Colonial Pen is probably one of the better known ones out there. I think just because they advertise all the time. You, you see them on TV all the time. Seems like every seven minutes or so. So uh, a lot of 71-year-old males would think, oh my gosh, it is, I'm so smart. I waited so long and I'm going to get such a good deal. $9.95, I'm probably going to get $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, maybe even $50,000 for $9.95. And then they talk with a colonial pen agent or they go online and look and find out that a 71-year-old male, $9.95 for one unit is only $657. Now, $657 isn't even going to pay for a cremation at any place I know of. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little different than the commercial probably made you think. But, you know, and the thing is, you know, it's $657 right now, but it's got a two-year waiting period and it's not going to pay out for any health or med medical related cause of death in the next two years. So that 657 is going to be worth less in two years than it is now. <clears throat> so it's just a terrible place to start out if you're looking for adequate coverage. Now, the other challenge as you get older with Colonial Pen is they max out at 15 units. So you can't even get $20,000 for a 71-year-old male. Let's see how bad it gets here. So for 149, you can get 15 units. That's $9,855. So it's not even $10,000. So it's it's very expensive. Let's let's compare to first day coverage really quick though. So first day coverage here, 20,000, age 71, male. I'm gonna click this, we'll see what the pricing here. But again, this is 150 for less than 10,000. And here we go, $144 for 20,000. Let me show you that again, just so that you believe me. 20,000. $144. So look at this. 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 Colonial pen, you get less than 10,000 for 149. You get 20,000 for 144. So you're paying $5,000 less and getting twice the coverage. So Colonial pen typically is more than 200% higher than other insurance companies. And they will, um, they will allow you to overpay them every single day for the rest of your life. And they will allow you to have that two-year waiting period. And uh, just why, why, would you, why would you not want double the coverage for less money for a, a level policy, which level means first day coverage? Uh, and we can help you out with these companies. So, yeah, just be a smart consumer. Don't, don't fall for, especially advertisements on TV. You'll be able to see all these <clears throat> insurance companies as we go through here. Let's find one here. I'll find one or two maybe. So Lincoln Heritage, um, they're, a, they're a fine company, I guess. I mean, their pricing's really high. Um, it is level first day coverage. The reason their pricing's higher is they've got a, uh, a program where when you pass away, they will call two or three funeral homes, maybe do a couple other things, and, uh, you know, supposedly get the lowest pricing and stuff like that. But it costs more. It costs more in, in monthly premium. So it's not free. So it's like 188 basically 190 190 compared to, say, 150 So it's about four, It's about $44, 45 46 I'm just going to say 40 for easy math uh, on the low end. So $40 more a month, that is $480 more a year. After 10 years, that'd be 4800 so, and I guessed a little bit under, so it's probably going to be roughly $5,000 or more expensive after 10 years. So think about this. <clears throat> if you have a policy, is it, is it like this, is, is it worth paying an insurance company $5,000 roughly to make two or three phone calls 
and uh, maybe do a couple of things, you know, for what seems like that would only be an hour of work or so, hour or two. So it seems like a pretty good payday for the insurance company. So we don't recommend that, actually. We, uh, what we provide is a free funeral and estate planning guide. And you can just fill out who gets what, what goes where, and what you want done after you're gone so that when you pass away, your family just executes your final wishes and you've taken a whole lot of emotional pressure off of them because they've just got to do what you said in there. And they don't have to guess. So you've not only protected them financially with your policy, but uh, emotionally with the, the funeral and estate planning guide. And we recommend you just fill that out and keep it with your insurance policy. Everything's in one place. When you pass away, your family will have that peace of mind knowing that they've done everything exactly as you wish. And what a wonderful gift to leave behind that you've taken care of all that worry and let them know exactly what you wanted done. Uh, there's other companies here that you can check the pricing on too. And even little stuff adds up like Lumico, first day coverage. We see them once in a while, 163. <clears throat> that is 144, roughly $20 a month. That's $240 a year. You overpay right around $2,400 after 10 years. Why would you do that? Why would you overpay? Be a smart consumer. Don't do that. So you can go to our website and use our quarter. You can call us toll-free at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456. Talk with one of our agents. If you've got an existing policy, you want to price shop it to make sure you got the lowest pricing, we can help you out there. If you want to add coverage to your policy, we can help you there. If you want a brand new policy, we can help you there. If you just need some help or have some questions, we can certainly help you there. But we look forward to the day that uh, we do get to meet you and talk with you and help you with this. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.